What's up guys, it's Dylan, and today I'm here to talk about another comic book review. And today I want to talk about Young Justice Issue 8. So it took a bit of a, t bit of a while to get this issue. Uh, there was probably a big delay on this. Um, I forget the reason why. Um, I know I heard, heard what happened probably at one point, but probably just delays, you know, it happens. But basically, you know, the Young Justice... Uh, team has been, you know, stuck on this Earth 3 with basically like all their evil versions of themselves. Uh, I, n nothing crazy about this issue. This is definitely one of the weakest issues. I was not a fan of the dialogue at all. Um, I, Bendis usually can do at least some pretty decent dialogue, but um, yeah, I wasn't that crazy about this one. I mean, I kind of had a headache reading this, so that might have had an effect. But I have loved every uh, issue throughout this, uh, you know, series. But I heard a lot of people saying that this was one of the weakest issues. Um, I honestly, uh, I still enjoyed it though. But there was such a delay, you know, I've just been kind of out of the Young Justice. I haven't read one, in, it feels like, in a couple months. But, um... Yeah, I still ca I can't wait for the next issue. It's a uh, Teen Lantern Secret Origin, so that should be fun. The art, um, the art is always amazing. That's one thing I cannot like. That's what uh, makes this book for me, honestly. John Timms on the art and Gabe L. Tabe. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. I know I probably butchered the colorist uh, name, but yeah, he. Uh, I always enjoy the art. The art has definitely been the best thing about this book. But, um, yeah, um, I can't wait for the next issue. And, um, yeah, I'm, this one I'm going to keep short because, you know, not much really happened, you know. There was a cool version of Tim Drake who calls himself Drake. And, um, he said he named himself Drake because that's, like, the most, uh, vicious bird or evil bird and then there was a cool version of stephanie um tim drake's girlfriend as batwoman and she was basically the only um good um other version of themselves that they uh saw on that uh earth on earth 3 yeah because everyone else was their basically their evil version self but stephanie was the only uh it looked like she was basically taking on the full role as Bat, uh, Batman did, but she was, there was just her as Batwoman, but that's, there could be more, uh, good ones, you know, we'll have to see on the next, uh, issue, but, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this issue, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys, see ya.